Verse 30 of chapter 19 says, Paul wanted to appear before the crowd, but the disciples would not let him. Even some of the officials of the province, friends of Paul, sent him a message begging him not to venture into the theater. See, Paul was in charge of these two young men. He was taking care of these two young men. He was caring for them in every way, shape, or form. He was teaching them to live in such a way that their lives would be different. Yet, when these two young men went before this crowd, it was the people around Paul who held Paul back because they knew it was time for these two young men to step up and stand up for their faith. There's mass confusion that's going on in this theater. They're yelling one thing and another. No one's really sure what's going on, but they're all yelling for this goddess. And these two men, all they are able to do is listen. All the cursing, all the swearing, all the put downs, all the rejection, all the discouragement, all the words that can hurt us over and over and over. And these are the very things that stop us in our tracks. Yet these two young men chose to stand up for the man that they were being discipled by, who is an imitator of the one who came to save him, to save you and to save me. And it was a choice that they made. You know what, the story's not done there. There's so much more. But tonight, would you challenge yourself and ask yourself, am I truly living in such a way in every area of my life that people can see that difference about me? Is there someone that God has brought me that I can imitate who has imitated Christ, that I can pass it forward and pass it backward and continue to pass it on? Think about that and we'll see you tomorrow.